What's going on guys, it's Crazy Rage, you couldn't bring you a brand new video today on Call of Duty World War 2, and man, I am tired. I've been grinding the shit out of this game, like, oh my goodness. As you can see, they raised the level cap to 35, which I am sitting at right now. Which isn't that big a deal, because it's pretty easy to level up. I mean, you just gotta play. You know, they're not very high levels. But my goodness, man, I've just been no life in this game every single day. I'm losing track of time constantly. The only time I took a break was to watch the Florida-Michigan game. Huge disappointment. Florida offense usually is. Defense still looks good, though. But I've relied on the defense for like three years now, four years, whatever. That. I don't know, man. We need some offense, please. Anyways, you guys probably clicked on this video because of the title. Uh, my best clip on World War II yet, so I might as well just go ahead and show it to you. I wasn't going to show anyone, but then I figured, like, wh why? It's it's the beta. It's not something, like, insane, you know? It's something I've been wanting to hit, all right? I wanted to hit a quad feed with the short and kill feed really, really badly. And I did. I mean, that's basically it. The kill cam glitch, or the play of the game glitch. So I thought for the longest time I thought it was a six-man play of the game, but it looks like it was a five-man It just glitch either way. It's still nice it had an actual quad feed in it with the short and kill feed So I really enjoy it. You know, I think the reaction was pretty priceless. It was me and monkey I was really happy. It was right after the game and I was just kind of like eh, like not feeling good about the game I just want to get on and hit something cool and it's the only quad feed I've hit at the moment It's the only quad feed that anybody has hit that I play with so I'm actually really stoked on it. I've hit markered a couple of them, whether it's single single hit marker the clat, or I had one where I hit marker the third and killed the fourth and it would have been on screen. I never actually hit one until yesterday and I was really, really stoked when I hit it. So here you go. Oh my god. I feel like the spawns are gonna flip and Oh I got it! <gasps> you oh! got it, dude! Good dude, you fucking hit! Let's go, dude! Let's fucking go! That was a five man! Let's go, dude! That was on for sure. Let's go! That ended with a collat! Let's fucking go! Look at this shit! Three, four, five, six, dude! No. It was actually a quad feed. That was a six man with a fucking quad feed. Well, that's that's insane, man. You just hit a banger. <laughs> nice, dude. I really love that clip. Like, it's just, oh, man. I know I missed one shot, but I mean, in the quad feed itself, I didn't miss anything. Super nice, super nice, definitely on screen. The reaction's a little cringy, all right? I was really happy. Oh my God, sit down. I really, really enjoy this game. I really enjoy this game. As far as the Springfield and the Commonwealth, uh, I said in my video two days ago, I think. I don't know, man. I, like I said, I'm lost. I've lost track of time. I think I said in my video two days ago that I'm not the biggest fan of the Springfield because of the no aim assist thing. Yes, this is true. I play on I played on 13 sensitivity. I bumped it down to 12 trying to get used to the Springfield a little bit, just play on a little lower sensitivity. I know I should play on lower than 12 with the Springfield, but I like a higher sensitivity with the Commonwealth. And I use the Commonwealth more than anything. And I don't want to switch every time. And I'm sure you can hear the damn AC, so I'm just going to have to wait for it to go off before I can continue this. You know they put a damper on it and it still makes this noise? Like, they're, they're seriously like, come on, bro. They came over and they're like, yeah, we fixed it. No, the f you haven't. Just gotta hit it one good time. Anyways, I've gotten used to the Springfield a little bit. Still not as used to it as I am with the Commonwealth. Like I said, I like the aim assist, even though, I mean, honestly, the aim assist is very minimal in the Commonwealth. It's noticeable. I'm an MW2 sniper. I'm used to the aim assist, alright? Once you get over the hit markers on the Commonwealth, like, it happens, but... Once you just come to accept it, or you start to aim to the point where you don't get as many, it's really not bad at all. Dude, I really don't want this game to go at all. I really don't. I'm super stoked that I hit with the short and kill feed, but I really want them to make it a little bit longer So Just a second, you know, a solid one second longer I think would be fine. It needs to fade off too, and it's not just for snipers. It's like, I mean, people have said this before. It's for getting information. It's really hard, especially with it not fading off. It just kind of stacks on top of each other. It just, it's not very good for sniping or just getting information in general. Like, I don't think it's snipers that, that are the only ones that don't like it. Also guys, I've been using this pistol right here. Oh my goodness. The machine pistol. 
It is uh, so much better than the POA, and I like it better than the 1911 just because it's a mean machine pistol and it's easier to use. One thing I don't like about all the pistols in general is they're just so damn small. Look at this, dude. Like, they just look so damn small in your hand. I don't know. It's annoying. If you guys have the machine pistol, definitely try it out. You know, it's not the most powerful thing in the world, so you definitely have to hit your shots. But as long as you hit your shots, like, I mean, it's good, dude. It's, it's, it's super good. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do when I, the beta's over. I have no clue. I've been having so much fun in this game. I'm scared they're going to make so many changes. I really don't want them to. I, I hear people bitching about how the sniping's easy. And uh, I, I, I strongly disagree with that. All right, and, and here's why. Here's, here's why I don't think sniping's too easy. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not hard, but it's not. It's not MWR easy. All right, MWR sniping's easy, but it's not. Say like when Black Ops One came out, it's not that hard as Black Ops One was when it first came out. All right, you gotta hit your shots, all right, especially with the Springfield. Yeah, it's super powerful, but you don't have aim assist. You're sacrificing it. With this gun, you get a lot of hit markers, you have to aim high. But I really don't think it's that easy. I see a lot of people complaining about it, and I don't know why. I don't know what I hit. Hold on. One. Two. It's just... Is it just three? It's just three. Could have been four. If you use a red gun in this game, like any of the SMGs, Grease Gun, PPSH, even the STG, or anything like that, the aim assist on those guns... Phew, snap right onto you like super super quick super easy and those guns melt and i get it the guns melt every single call of duty i'm not complaining about that that's i'm i don't have really a problem with them just because i'm used to getting melted honestly i played with the m16 for a year for fuck's sake but i think they should keep aim assist like at least on the commonwealth the minimum amount of aim assist that there is there is, is nowhere near the amount of aim assist on this game as there is on mwr and i still think it's fine the sniping's a little slower than any other game, like you really have to hit your shots, like you really have to hit your shots. You can't really stack multis like you used to be able to, it has like a little multi-stack thing, but you can't shoot that fast in this game, like it's it's definitely slower, it definitely slows you down, and I don't think they should change the sniping at all. I think it's fine where it's at, I don't think it's OP, I don't think it's overpowered, alright? See the problem with people, and I think Monkey pointed this out, right? There's gonna be people that are super super good at sniping, and they're gonna f*** you up no matter what no matter what happens, all right? But the majority of people that snipe aren't that good, all right? If you run into the grind squad, you might get annoyed at snipers. But I haven't seen a single other sniper actually hit a quad feed or a four piece kill cam in a game that I'm in. And I've been with people sniping and I haven't seen any of that in a game that I'm in that's not in my party. And I've played alone quite a bit too. I haven't seen any of it. I would consider myself a little more experienced as a sniper and I still, like I do good, but not always. <laughs> I think the sniping is pretty much perfect where it's at. Seriously, I really do. I really enjoy the sniping in this game. I really don't want them to change it at all. Even if they decide to keep aim assist on the Commonwealth and not on the Springfield, I don't really like that there's one with and one without. I definitely am for the aim assist. Okay, I think it's way unfair if we don't have the aim assist and we have to go up against these SMGs that just snap onto you. This is a very, especially a map like this, it's a very head glitch, like heavy game. And the fact that you can't, like, you can't hold your breath unless you're using Mountain, it's just, I don't know, dude. They did a good job, like, making sniping a little tougher, but it doesn't need to be impossible, is what I'm saying. Like, if you, if you tamper with sniping too much, you're gonna lose a huge community that plays your game. As much as people don't like to admit it, or as much as people bitch about sniping, the sniping community is a huge community that plays Call of Duty. It's a very large amount of people that actually snipe in Call of Duty. As far as the maps go, like, I've, I've played them for a couple more days now since I made my last video. I've kind of learned them quite a bit. War's fun. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss for me, honestly, on the lobby, whether it's fun or not. I hate the bridge part. It's really annoying, but War itself is pretty fun game mode. If you haven't played it, I would recommend it. As far as the other four maps go... Okay, Ardenus Forest and Aiken, pretty much my favorites. Really good maps. Now this one, Gibraltar, uh, I hated it for a while. Like I really, really did not like playing it just because people played really campy on it. I'm getting people this weekend, and I think it's just because kids are off school. I'm getting people this weekend that, yeah, still play campy, but it's not as bad as it was. And I've kind of played it enough to really get used to it and know where to go and know what to do. So it's not as bad, but I'm still not the biggest fan of Gibraltar. I hate Point Hawk. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, man. It's too, you know, it's just, it'd be fun with an SMG. Overall, i really, really enjoying this beta. I can't wait for the full game to come out. As long as they don't 
change anything super drastically, then uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good year. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to say I've been having a lot of fun on this beta. I hope you guys are too. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I've been grinding this non-stop, literally non-stop I have been playing. And I intend to keep grinding and keep playing and keep posting videos until this beta is over. And I will probably have videos even after the beta. I just, I love this game. I absolutely do. Let me know what you guys think about the game. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. It's been Crazy Ranger Dakota and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.